Welcome to Aqua Brain TV. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Just getting our gear ready for opening day. By sending your clips at Brain Aqua on Instagram, I'm able to keep these edits going and keep you up to date in binding free action. This time we hear from Jeremy Jensen and Hayek Snow Victim. We see clips from The Band 418 and Sam Powskate and much, much more. Without further ado, welcome to the Snow Skate Show. On November 17th, Friedel and Chris released Unstrapped 2 on YouTube. Here's a word from the creators. Hey, I'm Friedel. Hey, I'm Chris. We're here to celebrate today's release of the new movie Unstrapped 2, a pow surf and snow skate short film. So we both actually been shredding our entire life. Chris, my little neighbor, we have been growing up together. But um, actually it was the COVID lockdown year when we started to go out together and film. And that's when we got hooked to shred power surfs. And uh, then Chris got into drone filming. Maybe you tell a little bit more about that. Yeah, after filming a lot of clips with the uh, GoPros and mobile phones, we've seen we need uh, another angle since so I bought my first little drone, Mavic Mini. Last year, suddenly I got a message from a guy from Hovland Snow Skates and they needed some hookup for a Euro trip and uh, they asked us if they, we can guide them around. And they invited us to an actually pretty cool trip to the Zillertal, uh, where we got to meet Raider, Zach and all Dano and the whole crew. And uh, we quickly realized that um, we got so much talent there and we just have to put the camera on them and to get good footage. And uh, that's what you see in the new Unstrapped 2 movie. And that's why we call it 2, because there are so many good shredders out there enjoying the bindingless freedom. And uh, it's just fun to hang out there and film, get clips. When riding bindingless boards, we have a good quiver with Esmos and uh, Hovland Snow Skate. When it's getting deep, and I mean really deep, I ride the Esmo SI-152. That's the ultimate weapon. It has a slight fish tail and uh, still has a good nose and you can ollie around and it gives you full control. But a lot of people are riding even longer boards. But uh, for me, as with uh, my little freestyle approach, I like the medium range size boards. That's it guys. Watch the movie, see you on the mountain. I look forward to seeing more from these guys in the future. I asked Monk Death what he thought the best thing about snow skating was. Best thing about snow skating is the events. You know, whether it's the Olympics, the Sword of Natural, Serpentine, whatever it may be. Keep the events going, keep it strong. Let's keep it run by snow skaters. What, if anything, does the snow skate industry need? What does the snow skate industry need? Nothing. It's got a bunch of diehard DIY guys in it already. That's how it needs to be. What's your go-to snow skate setup? Snow skating, yeah. Boyd Hill subs, and then grab a like a minus seven top deck. <laughs> dialed rocket trucks. Wishing everyone a good season. Sam Powskate dropped a few tricks from last year in an edit. The last one being a dream trick he checked off the bucket list. Joshua Scott took his draw snow skate out for a little nose grab over these down trees. Opala Snurf Club posted this little kick by Austin Hartman. Send us your clips, edits, testimonials, and quiver shots at Brain Aqua on Instagram. 
Yo, Jamie, what do you like best about snow skating? The uh, thing I like best about uh, snow skating is it's like surfing without paddling to the sharks. And the ladies dig a guy the ride find it free. Speaking of surfing, I reached out to Jeremy Jensen to see what's new at Grassroots. What's up? I'm Jeremy Jensen with Grassroots Pow Surf. Andrew asked me to talk about uh, some of the new things we got going on this year. So right here we've got a 150 pintail with the artwork by Valerie Black. Uh, this year, this one comes in a 140 centimeter as well. Uh, there's a lot of difference, not just length in these two boards. Um, they have both, they have entirely different profiles, so they ride completely different. This year we made uh, three different colors of the leashes. Uh, these leashes are super dope. Hollow core urethane, so you don't get the kickback that a coil leash likes to get at you. Um, so these ones are a lot safer. They stretch at 12 feet, of course, so uh, they work out great. Right here, we've got a 150 slasher. This is new to the line this year. Um, obviously, we've had a 140 slasher in our line for 15 years since day one. Um, adding this 150 length, it's not just a difference in centimeters in length. It's got an entirely different profile, so it is a completely different ride and feel from the 140. And it's great for bigger riders, and it handles a variety of snowpacks, much like it's... Uh, little brother the 140 slasher you know what that is tundra grip so i'm keeping that in stock the best i can it goes quick if you need that stuff get on it with the quickness here we've got two different pal surf boots that we're selling the vans and the deluxe footloose uh, super thin sole super light boot 360 degree rotation no forward lean um, this thing's the best pal surf boot in the market i think i snow skate and pal surf and drive to and from anywhere damn near fall asleep in this thing it is that comfortable this is the vans xf woolly nivelt pal surf boot this boot does weigh about a pound more than the deluxe footloose 2 um, but it's got the great traditional lugs here this boot is running a little bit small so if you pick this one up go a size up or a half size up at least so if you're not pal surfing in a pal surf boot or snow skating in a proper footwear uh you're blowing it obviously but if you want to support pal surfing, <laughs> you can get them from us, and we appreciate that. So these split surfers are all headed out to their happy homes real soon. Um, these things are absolutely amazing. Obviously, I've been making split surfers for 14 years, but so much R&D has gone into these. These are amazing tools. We were blessed with a, a bunch of early season pals, so I've been out there just lapping it up on these things. They obviously make travel in the backcountry much easier and much more efficient. So you really slay it on these things. Highly recommended. I can't tell I have a split under my feet. They ride just as good as the solid boards do. So uh, I'm super happy with these. Uh, we got a bunch of boards getting ready to go out tomorrow. Most people think it's garbage, but I package boards with this. I try to recycle everything. Uh, we use recycled boxes. We use recycled plastic. Um, kind of looks like a mess, but we recycle. So these are verts. These are another tool that's really good for accessing the backcountry. Um, really good for steep couloirs, steeper, shorter lines. Um, not so great for long tours, but they're really good for getting you up steep stuff and creating a, a staircase so that you can lap it. Here are some new freshly made tees. These are not even on the website yet, so you're getting a full-on sneak peek here. These are our new belts, obviously for holding your pants up and keeping your leash attached to it. Um, these are a quick release belt, so you can pull the lever, it releases the belt and the leash so that uh, you don't get wrapped up in case of an avalanche, you don't get choked to death or lose a limb because you got wrapped up in your leash. Pal surf boots are obviously a game changer for riding. Um, just the fact that these companies were willing to make an actual boot for pal surfing is pretty amazing if you ask me. Um, so support these companies, absolutely. Um, they're really doing good things for us and the future of uh, binding this riding. That's all I can think of off the top of my head right now. So thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys have an awesome winter. Thanks for watching the show and uh, enjoy. Check out palsurf.com. He's got a lot of knowledge, so pick his brain and get the right board for you. Ben Nadu over at the Ben 418 is cranking out content at the beautiful Sunshine Village Resort in Banff, Canada.
subscribe to the Ben 418 on YouTube. What do you love about snow skating? Hey, it's playing time. So many things I love about snow skating. One of the things I want to highlight is as an instructor, I've had some of my students even try it just for half an hour. The amount of board feel and edge control that they get away with, it's just amazing. So check out this video of the Whistler Blackham training session I did together with Squamp and Snow Skates. I hope there's more schools to follow. Let's take a moment to enjoy some Japal with Yuki. Ryan, what gets you stoked to snow skate? Definitely some fresh pal out the window. Love waking up, looking out, seeing the fresh snow. Um, free riding is definitely my favorite aspect of snow skating. I really like proving people wrong, and a lot of people think you can't do this on a snow skate, but I like to show them I just don't need their training wheels they call bindings. <laughs> I know last time we talked, you mentioned putting together an edit. How is that coming? It's been uh, pretty much just the last year in progress, but I'm, I'm really stoked with how it came out and I'm hoping to, to see where I can go in the future and just keep pushing the boundaries. It's new edits. Uh, it's a little bit of park riding, but it's mostly just good old power runs and just getting face shots and uh, ripping turns. Thanks for joining us on this edition of the Snow Skate Show. Check us out at Brain Aqua. Here's how you subscribe to us, and here's a video we think you'll like. Till next time.